Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Brian Redgrave here with my review of Game of Thrones Season 5. I literally get closer and closer every day to the end of the show. It saddens me. I don't want this to be over. Oh well. So, Season 5 was a very good season. It really was. But I think out of the 5 seasons so far that I've watched, this is probably my least favorite. And that's not necessarily bad because they're all good. But it was the slowest and some things just didn't meet my expectations of what I was hoping or things that they built up. I don't think they were, you know, built upon correctly. But let's talk about some other good stuff. Tyrion meeting Daenerys. That was definitely a highlight. I was excited for that moment to happen. I'm happy it didn't take all season. I actually thought it happened pretty fast. Tyrion helping Daenerys is what I predicted in my previous video. Turned out to be true. I'm excited for that. I like them together. So I hope to see more of this. Of them too. I really want Tyrion to help Daenerys. To be able to conquer. And get the Iron Throne. Tyrion has been my favorite character. For the most part in the whole show. And Daenerys will probably be in the top as well. I really like her characters. And the mother of dragons. I like her dragons and all that. So that was definitely a highlight. Something else about the season, just I love the episode that they fought the Army of the Dead, the White Walkers. That was amazing. When the Wildlings and the Men of the Night's Watch fought them, that episode was amazing, incredible. Some amazing action. It was just great. The special effects were amazing. Everything about it was really good. Now, the fight between the Boltons and Stannis was very disappointing. We didn't even really see the fight at all. Is everything anybody ran towards each other? It cut away, and then when it was back, yeah, but it was dead. And Stannis was already hurt. That was very disappointing because it was building towards it. This whole show has been building Stannis towards that, getting that goal. First of all, he never even reached King's Landing again. And then he gets killed in this fashion. He gets beaten in this fashion. He got killed by Brienne. Brienne, whatever her name is. I, I, that was okay. That was the whole purpose, right? That's what she was She was trying to do since the, what? Randley died. That's fine. I just feel like he went down too easily. We need, I would have loved to see the war. And I was very hyped for it. And then they did that. And my God. When Stannis sacrificed his own daughter. That literally it hit me in the feels. That was a very sad scene. To hear her yell mother and father. Wow, that one just, that scene really broke my heart. It was devastating. It, oh, oh, for what? To get the throne? Which, I'm glad he lost. I'm, I'm glad he died, because after doing that, oh, what a monster. For sure. If I hated Joffrey for being a dick as a king, I hate Tommen for being an idiot who can't do anything, and is just scared, and doesn't know what to do. And it's, oh my god. I do protect your wife. That was so stupid. I really hated Tommen's character here. His wife got taken and he didn't even go help her. Like, really, dude? Really? Especially that woman. She's very beautiful. And Tommen didn't do anything. Cersei being trapped, going through all that process, she just served it all. I wish she would have been hit with worse because I can't stand her. She's a terrible person. So it was unfortunate that it ended so quickly. But she got what she deserved. I did not feel sorry for her. She got what she deserved. So, the, what were they called? The Sons of Harpies? Or something like that? The guys with the gold mask in Daenerys' storyline. See, I like that. I like where it was going. They built it up. They had that pretty good fight between them and the Unsullied. And then they just disappeared for the rest of the season to like the end. They just completely disappeared. They only got mentioned. Again, the ending of that was also amazing. My god. When Daenerys, Dragon, Drogon, Drogon, I think that's the dragon's name, came in, that was Beastie, and then she riding the dragon was also Beastie. It was a very good season. It's just, it, it lacked in terms of action compared to everything else, all the other seasons. It had that fight of Stannis versus Bolton, and it didn't even do anything correctly with it. But overall, it was still a good season. Not a lot to like. Arya's arc was good. 
She got another name of the list, but I don't know how I feel about her going blind. I mean, maybe they do it in a way that's actually really good. But Arya going blind is just... Uh, is that going to benefit her character in the show? We'll have to see. Let's see. Sansa had to marry Ramsay Bolton. That was um crazy. Considering we've seen how crazy he is when he tortured Theon. And he, he raped her. I, I was like, what the hell? Yeah. I didn't like that too much. I like Sansa's character and then they just did that to her. I mean, granted, they just didn't have to show it, did they? And then he made Theon watch. See, the purpose of that scene, though, while well, you like it or not, is it makes Ramsay feel more evil, more just pure evil than he already was. So it succeeds. And Theon watching was horrible. So I can't wait. And I hope, I hope, you know, this happens. I hope Sansa kills Ramsay somehow. That'd be great. But knowing her, she won't because Joffrey did whatever he wanted with her and she couldn't do anything. So maybe it'll be a repeat of that. She's really been through a lot. She also found out that Braun and the other one, whose name I don't remember, were alive. Which we already knew that. But surprisingly, Braun was not here. The whole Three Eye Raven storyline was not in this season. To be honest, I was okay with that. I always felt like, besides Jon Snow, which we'll get to in a minute, had the weakest storyline, the whole searching for the Three-Eyed Raven, he can't even walk, so they had to, you know, bring him along older, older, old door. Man, I can't say that name. And, oh well, but it wasn't here, and to be honest, it helped. It helped the pacing a little bit. Um, I'm assuming maybe he'll be back next season. They have to come back at some point. I guess the Hound is dead. I was in my last video said he might be alive. I guess not. He wasn't here either. So I guess the Hound is dead. That's unfortunate. I like this character too. Oh well. Jamie told his daughter that he's the father instead of uncle. That was a. Uh, that was something, I guess. And then there's Jon Snow. Jon Snow. Became commander of the Night's Watch. That was a great moment for him. And the Maester died. Maester Aemon. That was pretty sad. But John became the commander. And his first thing he wanted to do was bring the wildlings. To go, come through the gate. Even though last season they were all fighting. Come through the gate. Offer them lands. In exchange that when the time to fight the dead. They help. Nobody liked that plan. Nobody, literally. So, they killed him. They killed Jon Snow at the end of the season. I was like, what? I was I was thinking he might survive, but then he just got stabbed over and over and over again. Which makes me feel like, okay, maybe he is dead for sure. Which, another one. Rob, Jon, Catelyn, Ed. Like the, the Starks are dropping like flies here. So what? We don't get to know who the mom is? That was something that was teased in season one. Like what? We won't know who the mom is. Or if we do know, he'll be dead. That oh, man, that was... I didn't like that. I didn't like him dying. Not yet, anyway. I feel like he could have offered more to the show. I like where his storyline was going. And then they killed him. It was an evolution of his character, evolving, he became commander, he dealt with the wildlings, now they're going to team up, and then they just, the, the man of the Night's Watch just killed him. Oh, well. Yeah, I didn't like that, I said it, I know I said it like three times, but I had to say it again. So overall, it was a very good season. It was a very good season. It's just, I feel like it wasn't as good as season two, three, and four. Maybe some par with season one to me. So, still a very good season. No, I still very enjoyed it. So, let's get to the final verdict. The final verdict is an A. It's still a very good season. It was very entertaining. I didn't have that many problems with it, but I did have some that I just disagree with the show itself. I just disagree with some of them, like the ones I mentioned. But it was still a very good season, very entertaining. Yeah, to me, it was on par with season one. But it was a little, you know, a little, at least a little weaker than season two, 
three and four to me. I'm still very excited going on season six now. I'm almost at the end. So I'm about to start season six out of eight. I can't believe it. I've been trying to go as fast as I can because it's just it has me hooked. I have not been playing. Trust me, guys. I was trust me. I was planning on doing a review on Kakarot, and it's just I got hooked on this so much that I've stopped playing. So please forgive me for doing that. But I'm letting you know my opinions on each season. And I thought this season was really good. This whole show has been really good so far. Now, it's just, it makes me more curious to get to the final season, the infamous season eight, to see how what I think about it, because I know people hate on it. But for this season, really good. Really good. I really enjoyed it. So, this was my review of season five of Game of Thrones. If you agree with it, please give it a like. If you disagree, let me know in the comments. This has been Brian Redgrave. Redgrave. Oh.